Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our third partner keynote dialogue today here at our Bechtle Competence Day. It's a great pleasure and honor to welcome two gentlemen joining me for this conversation. And this is, good afternoon and hello, uh, Pat Gelsinger, the CEO of VMware, and obviously, and again, Michael Guschelbauer, the COO Hi. of Bechtle. Great pleasure having both of you here with us this afternoon. Thank you, and it truly is a pleasure to be able to join your Competence Day and really reflect the strong partnership that we have with Bechtel. So really a pleasure on my part to be able to be participating with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, gentlemen, I would like to focus this conversation on a topic that is obviously of most importance for both of your organizations. And this is obviously the topic of digital transformation and how you and your teams support and drive your customers through this exciting journey of transforming into the digital world. But you know, as we are speaking so often on a quite you know generic uh, level about digital transformation, I want to I want to give it a tweak that makes it a little bit more sharp. And this tweak is that I want to talk with you about the acceleration or the speed of the digital transformation and how this evolves. And um, Pat, may I may I ask you the first question? Um, in this respect, how do you expect um, and experience the uh, uh, speed of transformation and the acceleration of this process with your customers now that companies on one hand obviously see the need stronger to transform, but also face uncertainties about their economic situation? Yeah, and I definitely see that everybody's view of technology has become more important in this period of time. And I sort of joke that sometimes it takes a decade to make a week of progress. In many cases, we've seen the week of progress make a decade worth of progress in the last period of time. Because all of a sudden, from a few hundred people working from home, now tens of thousands of people working from home. We didn't have two years to plan and architect it. We had two weeks to finish the implementation. So it's been such a dramatic acceleration in work and education and healthcare, it truly has been a major accelerant to the digital transformation needs of our customers. Thank you. And Michael, what is your observation in that respect? Here with your customers in the Germany, Austria, Switzerland region, do you uh, see them accelerating and speeding up or do they slow down? Uh, first of all, I totally agree with what, what Pat said before, but uh, from my point of view, it depends a little bit on in which uh, industry the respective customers are located. Uh, so we've seen um, customers in industries um, what have been massively attacked by the COVID-19 pandemic. And in these cases, we help these customers with IT solutions and operating concepts to maintain the operational business and to make uh, IT resources or IT capacities and IT workplaces as flexible as possible. Uh, but um, however, um, the majority of our customers are accelerating uh, their activities, uh, remaining the um, uh, transformation towards the multi-cloud architectures and, and digi digitalized uh, pro uh, processes uh, from my point of view. Uh, yeah, and with this, Michael and Pat, what you say, you know, um, obviously, when we talk about digital transformation and speeding up that process, that takes more than just technology. Um, and um, I wanted to know, Pat, from you, what other ingredients do you see are critical for an organization to thrive through this process of transforming digitally? Well, first, I'd say that the technologists, right, the CIOs, our key customers, never have they been more credible than they are right now. In fact, one of our CIOs, he uh, was given a standing ovation by the board of directors because they were able to respond. So the credibility of the technologist is very high right now because you made it work. So we'd say one is leverage that to present the plans that are business centric, that address the people, you know, the process and the systems because often technology works, but these other factors are the ones that become the stumbling blocks to make the overall program successful. But right now, and I say carpe diem, seize the day, you know, there's such a great opportunity to accelerate, as we said in the last question, this period of digital transformation, because credibility is high, 
the need for digital transformation has never been more visible you know, to businesses. And now the people and process issues, if you solve those as well, this presents an enormous opportunity to leap ahead for your, leap ahead for your businesses as maybe never before. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so nice that you mentioned this example of that, that CIO, you know, with the board members cheering up to him. And I think the fate of many CIOs in our world is that this is not happening every day to them. So it's a great opportunity, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, and we can all only hope that Maybe we ever hope that. before as a CIO yeah, got a standing before. go. Yeah. And, and so, you know, we can, we can hope that, you know, so many, you know, really pick up the chance and the opportunity with that. And um, as we speak, uh, Pat, about this, um, as part of a partner keynote dialogue. I wanted to ask you, what is the meaning of collaboration and partnerships uh, that you see with the journey uh, uh, in the digital transformation? Well, you know, as we think about those partner relationships and like VMware with Bechtel, you know, the first is we always have to have our eyes on the prize and the prize is the customer's success. Right. And if we are always focused on making the customer successful, you know, first, you know, that needs to be the North Star. And then we say, how do our resources together, our technology and products with your technology and capabilities come together to satisfy that customer? And if we're always doing that every day of the week and saying, boy, how can we build your credibility with the customers, even as we deliver our products and technologies, that becomes this powerful accelerant to everything that we're doing. And we deeply believe that the collaboration potential, you know, the depth of the partnership, and we've seen such a great set of activities at Bechtel that you know, this is a unique time for us to come together as never before. Absolutely, and you know, as you say, um, it takes a great product, obviously, it takes the right mindset, um, it takes you know, a reasonable price, um, and it also takes, and with that, I wanted to you know, um, uh, uh, integrate another point here, and this is the uh, uh, question around the right talent. Um, you know, your organization, Michael, your organization, you are in a constant tr struggle to have the right talent, to find enough good people um, who can do the job. It's a new set of skills that is, that is in need when we talk about digital transformation. So I wanted to ask both of you, how do you as leaders of your organization uh, respond to this? You know, with the, for example, with the uh, demographic changes that are going on in our societies, the urgency of this uh, aspect even gets bigger. So how do you respond? How do you supply your organizations with the talent um, that these organizations need to deliver to your customers? Pat, would you like to start? Sure. And I'll say, you know, first, you know, you have to build that depth of experience, teams, you know, the culture that you're bringing so that people want to be part of it. They want to stay as part of it. You train and so on. So we spend an enormous amount of time on the VMware culture so that we build that, you know, if you're a great technologist, you want to be part of this team, right? And then we say, right, you know, we also want people who are deeply passionate about making our customers and partners successful as well. We don't have room for, you know, cowboys who want to get all the glory. You know, our job is to make the customer successful and be the humble partner that are uniquely coming into making that the case. But then of course, it also then says, go to the customer, you have to build their trust. Because if they are second guessing you and essentially, you know, the DIY, as we call it, do it yourself customer, huh, no, we need them to build trust in us so that they are committing. Because if our talent feels like, hey, you know, I'm in there pounding my head on the wall every day at the customer, oh, you know, they get frustrated as well and they want to go do something that has greater impact as well. So we have to build trust at the customer and the partner to bring about the ultimate success. Yeah, I would say, you know, the, the trusted cowboy that has the ability to really, you know, uh, see the things through the perspective of the customer, that seems to be a quite rare combination. Um, so, Michael, what do you do here at Bechler to find that very specific type of talent? Yeah, uh, first of all, I want to underline what, what, what Pat said before, what Pat mentioned before, that um, uh, first and foremost, we, we convince the people through our work and our culture that Bechtle is a great place where great people accomplish great things. So, so we invest a lot of tra in training our employees um, to enable them to take on comprehensive responsibility and important tasks or future-oriented tasks and projects at an early stage. And, um, 
And another point, from my point of view, is is building a culture of collaboration and communities. Uh, I think it's very important, especially for young people that, that they are joining uh, Bechtle. And uh, last but not least, Bechtle is a stable and future-oriented uh, company with great people where you can grow and our employees uh, appreciate that. Yeah. Very good, thank you very much. And let's move the conversation uh, a little bit more back to the technology side of it. And, and I learned that both of you, uh, you know, put the ability to orchestrate the clouds very much to the core of what, what you were doing with and for your customers. So uh, what are your expectations for the cloud market, uh, Pat, in particular? And what game changes do you see coming along? Well, what we've been able to do over the last couple of years is bring together the VMware platform with all the clouds. Private clouds that are now automated and feel like public clouds, but running in private data centers for the most secure or privacy focused or resilient uh, workloads. But we've also now partnered with Google, Amazon, Azure, IBM, Oracle, Alibaba. We have all of the major clouds and the key regional clouds, like they're in Germany, T-Systems and uh, OVH and uh, France. So we really have built that multi-cloud because we view our objective, and as we work with Beckla, right, you know, our, our partner, is to harness the power of clouds for our customers. So they get to choose the best of the clouds, never being siloed or locked into any of them, but truly able to harness that power to accelerate their business and be able to deliver the applications and services that allow them to best serve their customers and accelerate their position versus their competitors as well. And this multi-cloud capability, you know, very unique to the VMware offering. And again, we're thrilled to be working with Beckley through their partners and customers to be able to bring that to the customers in the doc region. Yeah, this, this very clear commitment to the multi-cloud uh, approach. Um, Michael, how do you see this resonating here with the German customers? I think multi-cloud architectures are the future. And, and I think the, the, the game changers are that, um, that in the future, um, IT architectures has to be thought more coming from the workloads. So, so because, because each workload needs uh, the right IT service and the right architecture, and all of this has to be maintained and orchestrated and uh, to make it secure and operational and, and in a very good way to, to make it easy to consume for the customer. But I think the game changer, the real game changer is that you have to think the IT architecture from the workload coming up because it's not, not one single cloud uh, option uh, for each workload. And there's different work, work, uh, options uh, for a workload, what's the right IT services for the specific workload. I think that is a game changer. We have to, to rethink about building IT architectures. Uh. Okay. Um, gentlemen, before we come to an end, you know, I, I, I can't let you go, obviously, without you know, having a few words uh, about the partnership between VMware and Bechtle. You know, you have been so kind, Pat, to, to uh, speak a little bit about it over the past few minutes, but I wanted to give you the opportunity to, to speak about that a little bit more. Um, so this is a long-standing partnership. It's a, you know, very strong partnership, obviously. So what can your customers, your joint customers here in the Germany, Austria, Switzerland region uh, expect from, from the two of you and your organizations? What is next? Clearly, as we talk to our customers, what they want is partners that they can trust, build on, as we call it, that digital foundation. But they also want then partners, providers who are working with their other key partners effectively. And in this, we'd say the relationship between VMware and Beckley is one that we have refined, we've developed, we've expanded over a number of years that that is truly a partnership that customers can trust and partner. As they partner with Beckley, they partner with VMware, we have built the connective tissue over years of working together that they can look at us and say, I trust them. I want more of what they do. And I believe not only are they the best partner today, but they're gonna take me to the future. And as we began our conversation today, the acceleration of digital transformation has never been a more acute need for business and as a result, they need partners who are working with their other partners 
who are accelerating them to the future. And I simply say, that's what we're confident with Beckley, that we have, are, and will do in the future. Absolutely. Thank you very much for pointing this out. Michael, anything to add from your side? Yeah, that's very difficult to add something to that because, because uh, you said everything about our partnership. It's a strong partnership. It's a very open and, and reliable partnership. And we plan, integrate and uh, maintain and operate the great VMware technologies and, and um, make our customers able to, to use multi-cloud services and you're asking about some news yeah? Um, yeah. I think we have one news uh, we, we are now offering also VMware on Google Cloud and have very interesting mm. uh, project funnels and I think that's good news yeah. okay yeah great you know as, as Pat said you know the customers want to embrace a full variety of yeah. cloud options and obviously uh, with uh, Google Cloud as you say you know this is obviously an important uh, part of that Absolutely. market so great to know this so the gentleman, impressive, impressive, because you know this partnership is is not built is not only built on on a joint understanding of technology and customer needs. It's also built on a uh, on a joint set of values, um, as you uh, uh, Pat and Michael pointed out, around uh, a trusted partnership between you and, and with your customers. So this is great to know and important to know for all the attendees today at the Bechtel Competence Day. I wanted to thank you, gentlemen, for taking the time this afternoon, having this conversation with us here. And um, we hope very much, uh, Pat, that quite soon we can continue the conversation and maybe even again in person. Yeah. So uh, I'd like to invite you to come to Germany very soon, uh, if it's possible again. And thank you very much for this conversation. Have a great day. Thank you, gentlemen. So, thanks a lot, Pat, uh, for your time. Thank you so much. And I look forward to when we're back together in person, Michael. And again, for all of the attendees at our conference today, thank you so much. We look forward to doing great things together. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye.